Your thumbnail is the reason your video will go absolutely viral or it will completely flop. But making a good thumbnail is hard. Trust me, just take a look at my old thumbnails and you will see my struggle. I've literally tried everything. Canva, Photoshop to even using Midjourney, but it all requires some serious skill level to make something good. But all of that changes because I found an AI thumbnail maker that can make everything for you. Seriously, it's so good, you have to check this out. These thumbnails, for example, were made by simply copying the link, inserting it into this tool, and then I got this thumbnail in return. You can even put your own face on it by face swapping it. Now that means that you no longer need a graphic designer to make good thumbnails for you. Now in this video, I will show you how you can clone a thumbnail with just a few clicks. Then I will show you how you can make a thumbnail like this by inserting a prompt, which is super simple. And lastly, if we use data in combination with AI, I will show you how you can pick the winning thumbnail for your video. So let's get started. And for this, we'll be using Pixels. So the first thing we need to do is we head over to their website and here's how it works. First, you need to go to pixels.com or you can click the link in the description down below. And on this site, you need to have a premium plan. Otherwise, the cloning feature is not going to work. Now the premium plan will cost you 30 bucks a month. And I know a lot of you want to try this out. So I spoke to the owner of this tool and he's willing to drop the price to $1 a month for the first 100 people that use the code Dan. So if you want to try this out yourself, then I will be quick. Now this video is not sponsored, but it is a great tool. So let me just show you how it works. After signing up, this will bring you to the Discord server. And what you do here, you click on the logo of Pixels and then you send it a message. This will give you your own direct message where you can create thumbnails privately. Now let me show you how you can clone any type of thumbnail with just importing your own link. So what I do is I click slash, then I use the prompt recreate. And then I have to insert a link. So for this, I'm going to use one of my own videos and I'm going to share this and I'm going to copy that link. I'm going to go back to Discord. I insert the link right here and then I have to use the inspiration. Now there are three different things that you can use here. If you use high inspiration, then your thumbnail will look pretty much the same. If you use medium, then it will be changed a little bit. If you choose low, then it will just be used as a format, but it could be changed completely. Now, I most of the times use high, sometimes medium, but let me just show you how this works. So I click on high, I send it, and then it literally takes around like 10 to 20 seconds to create our thumbnail. So let me show you the finished result. As you can see, this looks very similar from the original, but it just looks a little bit different. Now, if you like what you see, then you can just click on download and this will download the thumbnail for you. Now, let me do the same with the exact same thumbnail and then I'm gonna put it on low and let's see what we get now. So here you can see it made a similar version, but it's totally different. So it didn't use the exact same reference. It made up his own style. Now we can do that for any type of thumbnail. I can even do that for a thumbnail with my face on it, for example. If I just click on share, copy this, then I go back to Discord, I click recreate, and now I insert the link, inspiration high, and boom, our thumbnail is now done. So yeah, as you can see, we now have a different version of me and also of my thumbnail, which I could use if I wanted to. Now, this just works on any type of video. Let me just take this thumbnail right here from this person. So here we have a video of James Gianni and I'm gonna just copy his thumbnail. So let me just copy this like this. And now here's the before and here's the after. If you want to have a bit more creative freedom and not just copy other people's thumbnails, then you can do this other feature, which is called slash thumbnail. So now we can just simply enter in our prompt. I would be as detailed as possible with this, and then we can just send it and it will make that thumbnail that we have described. So I've prepared a prompt right here. So it is a very like advanced prompt, I would say it's, it's, it's very detailed. So I said, create a thumbnail for a video titled, I tried YouTube Shorts for 30 days, split the thumbnails into two by separating the middle with a white line. And then on the left hand side, we have like day one, on the right hand side, we have day 31. And yeah, pretty much, let me just send this. And then you get something like this. It followed the prompt exactly. We have a cracked YouTube logo on the left hand side, and we have a glowing or kind of glowing uh, YouTube logo on the right side. 
Now we have the graph going up and we have day one and day 31. The only thing I would change is I would make this bigger. But what you can do as well is if you have changes to your thumbnail, then you click on edit thumbnail and you can simply enter in a prompt and now it will follow these changes to your thumbnail. Besides cloning and making a thumbnail from scratch, you can also swap your face on existing thumbnails. So here, for example, I have this thumbnail of PewDiePie. What I did is I copied the link, then I went to Discord, and then in Discord, I used the face swap feature. Then I uploaded this thumbnail right there, and then I uploaded my own face that we have right here, my beautiful face, and it made me this thumbnail. So that is pretty cool. You can just do all of that in this tool. With Pixels, you can make 75 thumbnails a month for just $1 if you use the discount code DAN. But there's actually no way that you have 75 videos in a month that you need thumbnails for on every video. So what I would suggest you do is you go to A-B test your thumbnails. So you actually make like three to five thumbnails for your videos and then you test them using an A-B test. Unfortunately, the YouTube A-B tester only tracks your watch time, so it doesn't give you any information about CTR and all the metrics that you want to test your thumbnail on. So for that, we'll be using Una. And with Una, you log into your account and then you can start an A-B test immediately. Now this A-B tester tests your thumbnail quicker and it also gives you data quicker. So with YouTube, you actually have to wait for like a week or like two weeks maybe. And with this, you can just create a test like this. So I'm just gonna pick a video, then I'm gonna upload my thumbnails and then I can select the duration of my test. Now, if I've just uploaded my video, I can actually use hourly and then I can get a report within the first three hours and it will cycle between the two thumbnails. And after that, I have a data report. That is super useful for those that want to monitor if your video is performing good or if you need to change that thumbnail. I've actually did that test right here on this video. Now I've uploaded this thumbnail and I've used this thumbnail right here. If you take a look at our test, then we can see in the advanced analytics that my experiment thumbnail performed worse than the original one. So after I saw that in the first few hours, I actually like decided to test and then I picked this one and I got a much higher click-through rate than I would have had with this one. With Una, I could test my original thumbnail against the one that Pixels made and I can see which one is the best one. You can even upload like five thumbnails and it will cycle through them to show you which one gives you the best result in terms of CTR and in terms of impressions. I will leave the link to both Una and Pixels in the description down below and the first 100 people that use the code DAN will get a discount. So be quick and if you like this video, make sure to like it and I will see you in the next one.